Hey, it's Amanda Bird Wilson, Artistic Director at the Catamounts, reporting to you from the Catamounts HQ, joined here by my awesome colleagues, Mika Garcia, our Associate Producer, and Colleen Hudson, our Education Director, and we are here to announce to you our 14th season of Adventurous Performance. Woo woo! Woo woo! So, first up, we are going to be producing um, another piece in collaboration with our partners at the City of Westminster's Parks and Recreation Department, and we are calling this one The Last Night of Red Barker. It is an original, site-specific, immersive piece about the last night of Lloyd Red Barker of the infam infamous Ma Barker's gang after serving time for his crimes. Lloyd moved to Westminster where he was trying to live a quiet life as a bartender at Denargo's Grill. Unfortunately, he was shot to death by his mentally ill wife. This piece, written by our frequent collaborator, the award-winning playwright Jeffrey Newman, starts in Red's Bar where you will be served beverages and which we will be creating just blocks away from where Red lived. It then follows him as he revisits his past on the last night of his life. The piece runs from October 10th through November 2nd, just in time for the Halloween season. And uh, we're gonna encourage folks to dress up in their 1940s best, if they like, just in time for Halloween. Next up in January and February, we'll be back at the Dairy Arts Center with the regional premiere of the musical Ghost Quartet by Dave Malloy. Some of you may remember our award-winning 2017 production of Beowulf, A Thousand Years of Baggage, for which Malloy wrote the music, or maybe last year you caught the Arvada Center's production of Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812, which was also written by Dave Malloy. So this is another piece by him which mashes up 1001 Arabian Nights, The Fall of the House of Usher, Grimsian, fairy tales, urban legends, and more. We'll be transforming the Carson at the dairy into a parlor of chaise lounges, ghost stories, musical instruments, and whiskey. And we'll invite you to spend an evening immersing yourself in this song cycle, which the New York Times calls exultant, soaring and intoxicating. From February through May, we are going to be serving at educational residencies, which I'll let Colleen tell you about. We are excited to expand the Catamounts residency program. We'll be serving two schools in the Boulder Valley School District, Heatherwood Elementary and Douglas Elementary. The residency program is a unique seven week program in which students really delve into curriculum topics through performance. Guided by the Catamounts professional artists, students will write their own scripts, compose their own music, and create their own choreography. The program culminates in a performance presented to an invited audience. This year, we will be working with the second grade at Heatherwood and the first grade at Douglas, exploring the topics of change makers and community. So then in June, we are going to be collaborating with Boulder's oldest music shop, Wood Songs, on Feed Wood. Taking place at our favorite Lone Hawk Farm, Feed Wood will explore the way that both guitars and whiskey are characterized by the wood with which they are created. We are thrilled that this event will center singer and musicians like our beloved Nika Garcia for the first time. It will run Father's Day weekend, June 13th through the 15th. Those tickets are gonna go fast because we only have three installments of the event. So your best way of guaranteeing a seat is to become a fat cat. Ooh. So I'm gonna let Colleen tell you what else is gonna be going on at Lone Hawk Farm. Yes, Catamounts Education will also be returning to Lone Hawk Farm for Camp Catamounts in June. In this week-long camp, campers create their own original performance. And last year, we took inspiration from the Catamounts Feed Productions, incorporating a camper-created menu and a meal alongside the performance. More details to come, so keep an eye out. So that is our season 14. And we hope that all of you will jump on board as fat cats 
fat cats are what we call our subscribers. And the great benefit to being a fat cat is that you are guaranteed a seat at all of our performance events, um, which often sell out. You get a discounted ticket to all three of those events, and you don't pay any ticket processing fees. And the way we run the company, there's just one level of fat cats. So when you get that pass, you get into every show. There's no VIP fat cats. They're all our VIPs, and we're so grateful to have you guys. The shows do run um, for numerous dates, so generally you can always find a way to work it into your schedule, but if ever you can't, the tickets are transferable, so you can give your ticket to your sister, your brother, your neighbor, your friend, and also um, some of the fat cats also donate their tickets because um, we do have a way of creating tickets for people in need, so that's yes. awesome. Fantastic. So that is our season 14. We would not have made it the 13 seasons that we did without your incredible support. We just absolutely absolutely love making performance with you and so thank you we hope to see you soon